Hi, uh, another major pest in the coconut is rhinoceros beetle. Um, it may cause up to 10 to 15 percent of yield loss because of rhinoceros beetle. It's a very big beetle and you can, it's visible and it is a pet for many of the enthusiast uh, kids and uh, some people. Now, rhinoceros beetle is called Oryctus rhinoceros. The damage symptoms includes the adult beetle bores into the unopened fronds and spades. Attacked frond when fully open shows characteristic triangular cuts. It's very characteristic symptom. Um, when you observe this triangular cut. Uh, in the front, uh, which means it's already attacked much before. And central spindle appears cut or toppled, and fully open front shows characteristic diamond shaped cuttings. Holes with chewed fibers sticking out at the base of central spindle is a characteristic symptom of this pest. And um, there are four stages of this pest, which are actually the adult will cause the damage. To the trunk, that's mostly crown. Uh, egg, oval, creamy white egg in manure pits and decaying vegetable matters at the depth of 5 to 15 centimeters, which mostly we cannot observe. Uh, this egg period would be around 8 to 18 days, and female usually lays uh, 140 to 150 eggs at a time. Grub is stout, a sluggish, white, C-shaped with a pale brown head and found in depths of 5 to 30 centimeters. Usually these are grubs are found in manure pits of the orchards and very uh, big in size. You can clearly visible, You most of you probably observed. Um, the pupation takes, you know, it go much deeper and it will pupate nearly 13 centimeters below to 1 meters below the manure pit uh, in a small earthen cells like structures they build themselves and then they pupate it okay. then adult beetle is stout brownish black or black and has a long horn projecting dorsally from the head in male and horn is short in female that's the characteristic uh, one of the observation and finding there are many others of course uh, usually culture method is uh, the best way to prevent this uh, pest attack remove and burn all the dead coconut trees in the garden which is clean cultivation you have to uh, which are actually the rotten and you know decaying parts of the plant debris are the breeding grounds usually for these pests Collect and destroy the various biostages of the beetle from the manure pits when, you know, mostly it's better not to maintain these manure pits nearby and um, you can also effectively control by covering with some kinds of nets or uh, with, uh, using some biological control methods and spraying on them and you can, you know, occasionally uh, steering that and that's one of the method of control and uh, there are certain mechanical methods where sometimes it's since the beetle is very big enough so during peak periods of the population build up the usually the monsoon time and the adult beetles may be extracted from the palm crown using GI hooks you know, simply you can bore into the hook you can just insert the hook and you can physically kill that beetle Set up light traps following the first rain in the summer and the monsoon period to attract and kill the adult beetles and so that the population overall you can reduce in the orchards. That's uh, one of the effective method of control. Of course, there are a lot of traps that are available now in the market and that's one of the efficient method. Remember this very interesting pest. Uh, this pest is a pet for some of the enthusiastic people. And um, this is one of the major pests in the coconut.